What's up, family and friends? This is Ivan's Good News. I'm here with some, you know what? I just met some awesome people. They heard us shoot some 556. Five, and they asked us, have we ever shot a scar? A scar? No. I never have. And we're right here right now. He was kind enough. He asked us if he, wanna, if he wanted uh, to shoot it. He was like, heck yeah. So we're gonna be right now shooting the, uh, the scar. Uh, he has two. He has one chambered in 556 and the other one chambered at 308. So he's gonna be amazing and give us this chance to uh, 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 shoot it. And he also has an AK-47. So we're gonna check this out. All right. This is the scar uh, chambered in 308. As you can see, he could shoot also a 762 by 51. And that one is a scar chambered at 556. Wow. And then you said this was a Marine? Yeah, this is the Benelli M4. So that's their... Semi-auto? Yeah. That's their standard issue uh, shotgun. Then we got the beautiful AK-47. Yeah. Alright, here we go. We got the 5.56. Five, Scar. FN. Wow. What a treat. What a treat. And that's a two stage trigger, so you can like kind of just lightly press on it and then it'll just kind of go. Nice, huh? So he bought this one first, and then he was like, you can have any gun you want except for a 50 cal. So I was like, okay. Uh, and then I thought about it, and after shooting this one for so long, I'm like, I gotta get the light. Because I love this one, but I wanted it in 5.56 because we already have the 308. I'm like, I might as well get the other one. He was telling us when we got his uh, 5.5 that, you know, a lot of times if if you get the suppressor, it's better because it, like all those little bones in there and stuff, it kind of protects it from the blowback. Because after a long time of shooting, you can get like wear down on your bones and stuff from wow. the. That's what you're saying. I don't know. Do you want to try it? Well. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll shorten this up a little bit. So, what you're going to want to do is with your right hand, you'll grab this. It's like, oh, on the stage too. And then with this hand, you're going to want to grab the, the back part of it, just like that, yep. So what you're going to want to do, look through the, the optic there, and you kind of rest your cheek right on that little cheek plate up here. I can tuck this in a little bit more if I need to. So you just want to put your cheek like right in there, and then look through that optic there. And move your cheek up just a little bit. There you go. And then what you're going to want to do, let me lower it a little bit. You're going to want to put that, that red, you can see the red target? Yeah. You're put that right at the bottom center of that metal target out there. And then you're going to want to put that real nice into your shoulder, like, you don't mind, just like that. And then scoot your head forward just a little bit. Like that. And then what you'll do with the trigger is it's a two-stage trigger. So what that means is it'll have a little bit of squeeze 
and then it'll stop. And on that stop there, it just takes a little bit more pressure and then it'll go. So once you take it off safety, it's ready to go. Just, uh, and yeah, just do like five rounds, however. Yes. Now be, the, the trigger is very light, so it'll, I, I would squeeze it really softly, like as soft as you can, and just kind of bring it till you feel it stop. And then, so yeah, just right on the bottom. There you go. Nailed it. Do a couple more? Uh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah. You nailed that thing. I'm sure you play Fortnite and stuff.